Hello everybody. Um, this video is a video on the new coils that I'm building and now using. I no longer um, am making, which was a very nice coil, I really liked it, um, this little guy or gal. I only say little because compared to the new coils, it is significantly smaller. All right, so let me just tell you a little bit of difference and why we switched. Um, this coil was multi-purposed. Uh, this was called, I called this one the mag. It was multi-purposed and it had um, some nice features. It had a removable core um, and you could put your fingernail clipping and so forth inside the core if you wanted to do scalar wave. Uh, significantly more uh, powerful than the uh, remotes and it also because it was by filler in nature it, it had two cables coming off here's two two plugs and I had the appropriate adapters and you can look at the video uh, section for the mag coil to get all the technical information there's a lot of videos on it and so forth um, and you could run it as a magnetic wave device versus a PEMF device um, and there is a distinct difference between the two. Um, magnetic waves are um, not necessarily uh, um, just waves. They can also be pulses, but when you use it with a Spooky 2, for example, or FY2300 from Field Tech, or a Gaia Wave, or several of the other available function generators, um, using this coil as a magnetic wave generator is really a lot different than using it as a PEMF. Watch the PEMF uh, videos that I've done to uh, see the difference and watch the mag um, videos to see how it was used as a magnetic wave device. So the video really isn't about this guy. It's about these guys. So I'm going to put this aside and take one of these coils. Um, these are the same. I've just tried wrapping them in different uh, uh, colored uh, um, PVC tapes. And I have uh, white and blue. So the white and blue will be made available uh, um, when I build up my stock to be able to uh, pick and choose. But I want to talk a little bit about this coil. This coil has a single wire coming off and it has a plug for the secondary winding. It's got two windings in here. One is a 12 gauge winding and the other one is an 18 gauge winding that I'm pointing to right now. The 18 gauge winding uh, has a female receptacle on it and a cord comes with that so you can make a two channel um, uh, coil out of this and have two channels to plug into um, the Spooky or whatever function generator you might be using at the time. Um, I can do redo all the videos that I did with the mag coil and um, do them with this, or I can tell you, you want to see the functionality of this, look at the mag core videos and see all the things that the mag core videos can do. This can do all the things that the mag magnetic uh, coil can do, but more with more power. I, I realize that power is not everything, um, but it is a significant factor in a lot of health modalities, and so that's where I'm at. Um, I don't have the resources to build both coils. I have uh, too many things to get done and do, so I'm going to stick with just this unit right here for now. Um, I'll tell you a little about it. It's 168 to 175 feet of wire. Um, it's not that critical, uh, the small difference. I've experimented with these units all the way up to 250 feet of coiled wire, um, back down to 100, 200 feet, then I back down to 185, and I was trying to trim and find the length that worked best. Um, and that was like a compromise between a lot of different features. And um, I have a friend, um, a comrade in arms out in uh, Oregon uh, that had originally prompted me and inspired me to make these units and he came up with 168 feet and a son of a gun if I didn't think that worked the best 
So I'm now making all my new coils at 168 feet in length. And uh, that's where that's at. And I got to that uh, from testing and um, making comparisons and so forth. The 18 gauge wire um, is smaller than the 12 gauge wire in this co coil for a particular reason. First of all, the, the, the 12 gauge wire is used as a, another function, in another function, is used as a PEMF where I need to be able to handle high current, very, very high current pulses. And again, I would like to relate, uh, see the PEMF videos. There's two styles of PEMFs. And between the two videos, you get to get a very good um, understanding of what PMF is all about. The secondary coil is an 18 gauge wire, and it doesn't need to be uh, able to handle really high power. But 18 gauge is significant enough, uh, so it can handle a decent amount of power. What are we talking about when I keep saying the word power? Well, we're talking about sending with the PMF unit, uh, through this 12 gauge wire, we're talking about sending pulses that it might be up to around 40 amps, maybe even more. Um, they're so short, again, it's very hard to determine uh, the exact current, but I did do a magnetic pulse comparison video. Please watch that if you want to see how powerful these guys can be, or gals, whatever, um, uh, how powerful they can be in delivering PEMF pulses. Uh, so I, I, I didn't need to put two 12 gauge, and plus it would have been too hot, uh, too heavy. The coil as it stands now is too heavy for my wife to use. So I have made a single version, single wire version of just 12 gauge for her to make a lighter uh, coil. And I don't have a video on that, um, but I will be making uh, a video on the coils as time makes itself available. And uh, we'll include the um, mono. We call it a mono versus a bifiller coil. Bifiller has a lot more advantages, obviously. But the bifiller has more material cost, takes longer to build, and so forth. So that's reflected uh, as a difference between the, uh, the two coil types. But the uh, mono coil still has 168 feet, but it is lighter. And it still is one unbelievable uh, magnetic pulse delivery device. So that's a quick video uh, roundup. Um, I have multiple coils. They are available now. Um, and again, you can I refer you to the website to get more information on them. And to see how they work, um, I would just like you to look at the mag uh, coil videos and so forth. This works the same uh, with just a lot more power. OK, that's a short presentation. I will be doing more videos, uh, but I have to get this stuff published, so this will do for now. Thank you again for watching. Have a very nice day.